my name is geeta sarunke i am assistant professor in department of entc engineering at aissms institute of information technology today i am going to explain speed control of dc motor of electrical circuits according to the speed equation of a dc motor the back emf eb equal to 5z np divided by 60a volts n is directly proportional to eb by phi and n is directly proportional to v minus i a array divided by phi the speed can be controlled by flux control method armature voltage or rheostatic control method and third one is the applied voltage control method first of all we will see flux control method in order to change the speed we have to change flux this can be achieved by changing the field current and the field current can be changed by changing the value of rheostat connected in series with the field winding now we'll see rheostat control method by varying the value of r we can vary the voltage v and that appears across the armature since the speed n is directly proportional to armature voltage it is possible to change the speed by changing the value of rheostat and again armature voltage control by varying the rheostat as a potential divider we can control the speed of the dc motor right from zero up to rated speed now we'll say applied voltage control method in the applied voltage control method of a dc shunt motor the field winding is connected to a constant dc voltage but the armature is supplied with different voltages with the help of suitable switch gear as shown it gives wide range of speed control and speed control in both direction is possible now we'll see what leonard method this is basically a armature voltage control of dc motor the variable armature voltage is obtained from a dc generator m1 is a fixed speed dc motor which is coupled mechanically to a dc generator the output voltage of a dc generator is applied to the armature of the dc motor m2 the speed of which to be controlled by varying the field current of the dc generator we can obtain a variable dc output voltage from it this variable dc voltage acts as the variable armature voltage for m2 and its speed can be controlled now we we'll see flux control method speed control of dc series motors first flux control method these are of four types first field diverter method in case of field diverter method this method is variable resistance r is connected across the field winding this field diverter resistance being in parallel with the field winding provides parallel path for field current by adjusting the value of r we can adjust the current flowing through the field winding the speed can be controlled now we we'll see about the armature diverter method in this method the variable resistance r is connected across the armature as r reduces the armature current i a will decrease but torque produced by motor t directly proportional to phi i a to produce required torque motor draws more current from the source so field current increases hence phi increases and speed decreases thus with a reduction in r speed decreases it is used for controlling speed below rated speed now we'll see tap field control as we move the selector switch from position 1 2 3 3 etc the number of turns of the field winding will reduce this will reduce the emmf since phi is proportional to emmf the flux will be decreases as flux decreases the speed increases hence the motor speed increases as we move from 1 to 5 and series parallel control in this case two speeds at constant torque are possible now we'll see armature rheostatic control due to insertion of the rheostat are in series with the motor the armature current will flow through it and there is a voltage drop of ar across it the voltage across armature winding will reduce and the speed will also reduce because the speed is proportional to armature voltage by changing the value of variable resistance we can control the speed and applied voltage control it is used for controlling speed below rated speed 